what's up everybody tweets here uh, this video is going to be a quick one I'm just showing you how to set up a mod folder with multiple items like multiple files inside um, it's not that hard um, so in your P drive you just create a folder a mod folder is something that you're gonna want to work on and have a bunch of stuff in um, and then the this, for example this is my items back structure so you you just open that folder that you create inside you have a data a scripts if you're using scripts and then one config that config will look something like this it's gonna be a CFG patches with the CFG mods you're gonna have the name of your folder at the exact folder name for example that's what mine is and then you I usually just put it there credits you can put if you're either keep it the name of your mod or if you're making it for someone put their name there put your name there since you're the author and then your folder name right here too and then that's that's it if you're not using scripts you can actually ignore this section here so you can see where it says classes desk go straight below that and then select all the way up to dependencies and then delete that and then it'll look something like this if you're not using any scripts and then that's it for that then once you have that config in inside the data folder you'll have a bunch uh, you can start creating any files for whatever say you want clothing so create a folder called clothing data and inside the data have all your PAAs for retextures or whatnot and then a config under here under your data folder which will have all your clothing config so you'd have a setup like this you'd have for each item so I got like my tactical shirt there another tactical shirt some pants another pair of pants and then the, that's it then you'll have clothing and then you go back and then underneath your clothing folder you can create another folder called guns and then inside there create folders for each of your guns and then you'd have inside there you'd have each gun would have their own data folder and their own config the data would have the model could fade the model the RV match sounds PAAs all that stuff and then your trend fade would be the trend fade for the gun same for each each gun and then if you want to add other things like melee weapons or vests or chests um, containers that's pretty much all you do is just create a new folder and then inside that folder put a data and then in the data put the model model could fade PAs you just it's all it's pretty much that simple um, scripts folder if you are using scripts you'd have either four world which is most common um, but for like real game change and mods for <laughs> that change stuff you'd also have a three game and a um, yeah you'd have a couple other ones here um, for world is mainly for like guns clothing containers recipes stuff like that and then you'd have a setup like this so you'd have the scripts folder for world you'd have your actions for like open closing containers you'd have classes which is for your recipes crafting recipes pack recipes and then your your recipe manager base and then you have entities item base and this is for all your base class like item bases like for your like helmets that you make lockers or um, grenade base um, just things that you made and then that's that's pretty much it for scripts um, if you're using scripts in your uh, mod <clears throat> but that's that's pretty much it and then 
once you've got it all set up, and then you just patch it up and boom, that's done. I am gonna make a sample. I did write this here, sample mod. It'll have a mock-up. It'll have the trim fade that I was telling you about right here. And if you're not using scripts, just go ahead like I showed you and delete this section. And then you don't have to worry about that. It'll have a mock-up of a scripts folder if you needed it. They're not going to have any scripts inside of it, but you can put yours in there. And then I'll have a little mock-up of the, each item that you would need if you're making a multiple item mod. And that's pretty much it. So if, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord. And thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.